Hello interwebs, Masterstroke TV here. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, just doing a little video on the Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 Gen 1, 2, and 3 audio interface audio fix. I had searched the internet, in my case, all over, tried every technique. In the end, nothing worked for me except for what I'm about to tell you now. So you can go ahead and do a little research on your computer's motherboard to see if this fix is for you, or you can skip right to it to see if this works and save yourself a lot of headaches. Okay, so my story is simply, I had ordered the Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 Gen 1 from Amazon, started using it for my OBS live streams on Twitch.tv and YouTube. Uh, what I started experiencing not long after was I was having OBS audio crackling with the microphone, there was audio cutting out, and the audio interface itself would just stop responding, cut out completely. Um, so maybe about a year or two later of dealing with it, finding tweaks online that got me through everything, but still never really resolved it, I decided to buy the Focusrite 2i2 Gen 3. I figured that maybe I had faulty hardware or I had faulty software with the older generation. Um, ended up being the same case all over again. So, dig, digged again, and what I did find was if you go to the Focusrite website and you dig in their support real deep, you will find that they have a diagram of how their drivers are supposed to install. And what you'll see here on the screen is that if it shows that USB root hub is right before the, ins uh, the driver, that's perfect. That's a correct install. It'll work perfectly. However, if it's incorrectly installed, the generic USB hub will show up before the, the driver. So, uh, how do you view this? Well, you go into your device manager, you go to view, you go devices by connection, and um, you go to PCI2, PCI bridge, and you kind of track down where you have it. And you'll see here in my screenshot of my actual computer uh, now installed correctly versus a different USB that would have been incorrectly. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. My particular motherboard actually has something called shared USB ports. Uh, shared USB ports can affect power provided between those USB ports and bandwidth, as opposed to a better setup is the independent USB ports a motherboard might have. So my next step was to go back to Amazon. I ordered the Inatech two port PCIe USB three card. Uh, this card does is actually adds uh, independent USB ports. Uh, I'll have the link below in the description for you guys to go ahead and uh, click on the affiliate link to order if you would like. Anyhow, it was a very cheap option, fast delivery. I'll let the unboxing video play. What I ended up doing is I powered down my desktop PC, then disconnected the Focusrite 2i2 and powered back up. I uninstalled the software and the drivers. Next step, I powered down and installed the Inatech 2 into my last available PCIe slot on my motherboard. Next, I powered up the PC and went to the Focusrite support site to download the software and the drivers. Then I plugged my Focusrite into the Inatech 2 USB 3 port. Next, I checked with my device manager to confirm the drivers installed correctly this time. Everything looked correct. Lastly, I fired up my OBS and completed a test stream and had zero audio issues. It has been about two months and many live streams later and the audio issue I was having for about two years was resolved. I really hope this helps someone else with the Scarlett audio interfaces using OBS. I believe this fix will work for most, if not all, their devices. Hope you have a wonderful day. Leave a comment and let me know if this helped you and please follow, subscribe. I'll let the unboxing video play. Until the next time, peace.